Getting USDA approval now opens up the pathway for us to sell cultivated meat here in the biggest market in the world, uh, in a place that's one of the biggest meat producers in the world, and I think lends a lot of credibility towards what this is going to be in the future. So it'll be a, uh, a momentous, historic moment for the food industry. So often anything that's new, you know, whether it's an electric car or it's chat GBT, it, it feels strange and a little peculiar uh, initially. But after a period of time, it becomes ubiquitous and boring. And that's eventually the path for cultivated meat. So cultivated meat, put really simply, is real meat that is grown from animal cells. So if you imagine the meat that we have loved and eaten for tens of thousands of years, um, the meat that we cultivate is actually biologically the same, but it's made in a whole new way. So after seven to 14 days or a little longer, depending on what we're making, we harvest the cells and then we can make it into any meat product that you love. So our first product will be chicken fillets, um, but we are working on an entire portfolio first of chicken. Um, and then following that will be beef and other species as well. But then absolutely our goal in the mid to long term is to go into grocery stores and retail and for consumers to be able to experience and buy upside meat everywhere where they would be used to buying meat. So the hurdles are the size of the investment, the scaling up, and who are you targeting as a customer? And especially who is going to eat this? If you're not forced to eat lab-grown meat, while you will be eating lab-grown meat. For some period of time, I would say it's at least two years, probably more than that, it'll be very small volumes. So think less than 5,000 pounds sold. And ultimately to get to a point where no matter who you are, you know, if you're hearing this, it'll be in your local grocery store, in your local restaurant, we'll need to build much larger infrastructure. 